Okay, this is Pops and Souls Tell About You. Your sexy VJ, Isak and Kevin, are in the studio. <laughs> Alright, now, we have Dr. Kevin, who is solving all of our problems. Dr. Kevin? Wait, whoa. I like that name. You could, <laughs> you could use that name from now on, really. I swear, <laughs> I don't think I should say Dr. Kevin anymore. But okay, Dr. Kevin, <laughs> right. can we get into our second letter? Alright, our second letter is from Sunji07, and she's from the United States. Ooh, the U.S. Hmm. Hi there, Vijay, Isaac, Vijay, Isaac, and mm. Kevin. I have been betrayed before. Uh-oh. Uh, my boyfriend and I dated for four to five months, and on my birthday, he dumped me. Ouch. What? Ouch. Ow. <laughs> and even worse, he dated another girl only two weeks later. How could that be? Oh. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> since my experiences with him, my friends have noticed I've really changed. Mm -hmm. I'm not very social anymore, and I don't try to make conversations with others. Okay. I'm quiet, and it's hard for me to trust people. Mm. The thing is, that same guy has suddenly contacted me after almost two years, and is asking to meet my, uh, be friends again. I've been trying to resolve this issue of broken trust, but this totally threw me off. Should I accept his friendship once again? I believe everyone deserves another chance, but I'm not so sure this. I'm not so sure this time. So after all the hurt, should I take another risk? <sighs> hmm, ouch. You sound stressed, and now just listening to that, it makes me stressed. Uh, Ugh, bad guy, just all around, just mm. bad, bad, bad. But you know, I think I think it's more bad timing. It sounds like if he started dating somebody two weeks after they broke up. Mostly, he was trying to break up with her anyways. It's just the timing was a little, mm. you know, set that yeah. way. So, <laughs> I mean, he was already trying to break up with you, probably. Um, and now he wants to be friends. Hmm. Well, huh. hmm. first of all, couples, they all break up. You know, it happens, right? True. Couples do break up. And it sounds like that guy, he wasn't really well-mannered about the whole mm. splitting up thing. So. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Uh, well... Huh. First thing I want to tell you is, um, since I've been in Asia, I've noticed there's a lot of different, you know, ideas and mythologies and whatnot. In China, China? they say that once you have been hurt or betrayed and um, you have, you know, a big scar on your heart, mm. it's a good way for you to go to a little trip during, down to Ooh, a forest I, I or, trips. yeah, like a forest or maybe um, a long path or a park <laughs> or whatever. The reason is, is it goes down to the main part of nature heals. Nature hills. Mm. Just sitting there, being in nature, nothing. With the birds chirping, and you can just, like, meditate. You might say, um, <laughs> but yeah, just meditate a little bit. All right. And um, it kind of helps out, I think. Have, um, you, have you tried it before? I have. I normally, it's not so much a betrayed, but when I'm stressed, I see mm. that going out and maybe walking next to the Han River. Here oh, in Korea, yeah, yeah. it really helps me to calm down. Any good exercise, mm -hmm. you get out and about. And, and you get I to like breathe. to go on top of the mountains with my family. Ooh, okay. And I just like to take a deep breath mm -hmm. and let all my stress out. Mm. All right. And now, what other things can we have? You could also lead a religious life. You know, okay. just like meditating. Meditating, yeah. You could gain a peace of mind, mm -hmm. or no, yeah, peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And you could also just try to forgive him. You know. Okay. Forgive and forget. Yes. Forgive and forget. Um, with the whole thing of the fear, me being a girl too, I mean, we girls always feel the fear after we've been betrayed by a guy. Mm -hmm. We're going to meet the same guy yet oh. again. But not all guys are the same. And unless you have really, really, no, really bad luck, not, uh -huh. unless you have really, really, really bad <laughs> luck, you doubt you're going to meet another guy just the same as the mm -hmm. old one. So date again. Mm. Not date. all guys are like your ex-boyfriend. And mm. some, you could maybe be, meet a guy like me. Oh. Is this, a, is this an invitation? <laughs> is this an invitation? Someone who's caring, someone who's sweet, and only will love you. Aww. <laughs> it's even your expectations. I think everybody here, your expectations are going higher and higher yeah, and higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, um, it might not be the fact that um, he broke up with you that's bothering you. It might be something mm. deeper. It might be the relationship in itself. It might be what happened to you in that situation because we're going really deep mm. here. So consider what's going on in your And, life. like, if you're completely over your ex-boyfriend, there wouldn't be this problem in the first place, right? True. So if you do have feelings for him, maybe you'll, you know, go back to him and just try to be friends again. Mm. 
Mm. So that sounds good. And people change. Really. True. People change, so you never know how it's like now. True. So if he really, honestly, truly does want to be friends, mm -hmm. I think it'll be great, just like Dr. Kevin here said. Dr. Kevin. <laughs> and uh, accept him. Forgive and forget if that really is something that you're willing to do in that mm -hmm. situation. You're the one that was hurt, mm. not him. I, well, he maybe was, but you were hurt more in the situation. So if he's willing to bind mm. the friendship really, between yeah. you. You should accept it, really. True. And don't worry about what other people think. You, mm -hmm. know, how, you know how you said, uh, well, this viewer said, I believe everyone deserves another chance, but I think you might be a little too nice, okay. isn't it? Because, I mean, opportunity should be given to someone who really deserves it. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't really try to hurt yourself by trying to be nice, you know? Okay. I mean, that's just bad for you. Mm -hmm. So just take care of yourself first before others, really. Okay. So uh, I think out of that experience, you really did show today um, different parts of betrayal. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that really did help a lot of our viewers. So hopefully it did. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anyone gets, uh, you know, wants to send in anything, what should we do? You should go to our website, go to our All About You board, and mm -hmm. there's a new topic every week. Cool. So post up all your problems and concerns about that topic, and we'll be more than glad to read them and help you. So mm -hmm. we'll be waiting. and. Yep. Post more. Post more. So what's the address again? It is www.arirang.co.kr. How is that? It is already time to say goodbye. Really? <laughs> already? It is already time oh. to say goodbye. I thought we just started. I know. We just started. Oh. After already two letters, it's already time for us to say oh. goodbye. <sighs> but I know that you're going to enjoy yet mm. another fun and busy week, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Definitely. Mm. And after this week, we'll have another show and mm. we'll be reading more letters from our viewers. Exactly. So I'll be looking forward to that and I'll see you next week. Alright, we'll see you next week. Bye, Kevin. Right, bye, Fatima.